friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today, we're gonna make strawberry and mixed berry jam. So here's what I'm working with. I am working with some blackberries, 12 cases of those. I do have 10 cases of strawberries, and then I have six blueberries. So I am definitely gonna be doing just straight up strawberry jam. And then we're going to do a mixed berry one with the blackberries and the blueberries. So, but first I'm going to start off on the strawberry. Um, I did pick up <clears throat> some ball jars. I do have plenty downstairs, but there was a certain jam one that I wanted that I ordered on Walmart pickup, but they were apparently out and this is what they substituted me with. So, um, we're going to use this for the jam, but I do plan on freezing um, these two, these eight jars of um, jam. And you don't have to um, pressure them at all to keep in your freezer. So I'll share the process and all that with you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start washing all my strawberries. These are gorgeous. I got these from the Red Barn in Santa Quin, Utah. And they're gorgeous. I got them for $1.25 a bundle here. Um, so really affordable right now when you can get berries at a good price to, to do all this. So um, I'm also working with sugar. I've got lots of sugar. I mean, th these are just two that I had, but I bought a whole case of sugar. But I'm not using any pectin at all in this. We're just going to cook it down real good. First up, we need to start washing the berries so I'm gonna get the strawberries going we're gonna trim off the tops here and get them all washed up and I'm also going to take these jars out and get them all cleaned up and then later I will head down into the food room into my canning supplies and get all the other jars I need and get them washed up but first I'm gonna see how I'm doing today and just focus on this much so I got this nifty strawberry contraption from one of you <laughs> I believe and it's so handy it, you could go in and like core out strawberries super easy so you just go in right in the middle open it up stick it in twist and BAM there you go so I'm gonna do this to all my strawberries I want my jars are pint jars and the recipe that I have is from the ball canning book and it makes four pints. I'm gonna need two quarts of strawberries, which is eight cups. And this supposedly makes four pints. And then we'll wash these up after I'm done with this process. I'm not even gonna chop them, I don't think. Um, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mash them. I'm not even I'm not even gonna bother cutting them. I'm just saving a step doesn't have to be that hard you know working on something like this is nice to do when you have to be distracted with whatever's going on in your life and you just want to focus your attention on just something else I love projects like this <laughs> it really just gets my mind somewhere else and I love it and then when you're done you have this beautiful finished product that Bring smiles to your family and friends' faces, your face, and you just feel accomplished. And it's good to put your energy somewhere else productive. Learn how to make jam. You guys, I learned how to make jam by myself, and I did it on She's in a Reaper. If you guys remember my plum jelly recipe, I'll link it below. I have two, but the first one I did, the older one, I never had made it before, and it was my first time ever doing it. And you'll be surprised on how easy it really is. But it's always so great to reach for your shelf or reach for your freezer and have something yummy that you made. But the thing is, once you get your fruit, you need to plan on working with it within the day or next day because it can turn on you so fast. I would say strawberries are the number one fruit where I have to work with really quick because they can turn. Your house is gonna smell good when you make this though. I have never made strawberry jam. <laughs> I've gotten the strawberry jam for my sister-in-law when she makes it, but I've done a lot of plum jam, grape jelly. So this is the first time I am making strawberry. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna use this um, 
thing from Pampered Chef. It works really good. Um, so I'm just going to press and twist and it's going to crush up these for me. This is why I said don't even bother cutting like your strawberries. This, because you have to mash them anyway. So cutting them really defeats the purpose. Now, if you want jelly, you can blend these up really well, like in your blender, if you want more of a jelly. But this, we're gonna do jam. We want some chunks, and this is gonna cook down and break down more. I blend my plums when I do my plum jelly. We're gonna need six cups sugar. You can use honey, but I'm not sure what ratio you're gonna need. But when it comes to jam and jellies, it takes a lot. I do wanna experiment with monk fruit, though. So we'll start off with four and get it in our pot. All right, we have two more cups of sugar. Let's add this to our pot. Now, we're gonna turn this on. We're gonna bring it to a boil, but we're gonna stir and stir. We're gonna dissolve all this sugar. Turn to my stove on medium for right now. So let's get that sugar dissolved. But you can add lemon juice if you want. Um, it's supposed to help, but, but I know a lot of recipes people will use lemon juice when they use pectin, so I'm not sure. But if you want to use lemon juice, you can put a fourth a cup in. All right, I am going to crush this up just a little bit more. We want to bring this to a rapid boil. And you do want to stir because you do not want this to stick and burn. So it's something that you do have to like baby and watch. So I got my stool right here by the stove and I'm just going to plop myself down and work with this and get it to um, boil rapidly. To test your jam, um, you take a plate or that you've had in the freezer pour some on you could stick it back in the freezer but let it cool for a minute and you're gonna do the pull apart test with your finger to see how thick it is and then you know how close you're getting I had to get a glove because it is so hot um, it's you can see it's cooked down a lot it's getting darker it's getting thicker if you get hot easily put a fan on you but look at that color it is like getting deep 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 then you take this is the finger test you go like this that's pretty dang good. Look at that. That's not bad. I'm going to let this go for a couple of minutes and then we'll take it out and ladle it into our jars. All right, I took this off the heat. It's at a really good thickness with the plate test and everything. So we're just going to let this calm down. I'll spoon off any foam that's on top and we'll ladle it into the jars and I'll show you what you do for the jars uh, for freezer jelly. All right, here's the fast part. I skimmed off the top of my pot of jelly with any foam that was on it. Now I'm going to hurry and ladle this in, leaving a quarter inch free up top for expansion. This is a nice, dark, beautiful color. And it tastes so good, and it's just sugar and strawberries. All right, I'm going to wipe down the tops. And then I'm gonna put the seal part on, and then finger tip tight. And then I'm gonna tip it upside down for a few minutes, and then we'll tip them back over. And they're gonna do their own sealing this way because the jar is piping hot with that jelly or the jam. So let's keep pouring, leaving a quarter head space. Don't fill it too high. Wipe down this. Now if you wanna water bath them, then um, get them in your water bath co covered completely, roiling boil. Probably for about 15 minutes, but look at your recipe. I just today I'm not in the mood to do that. <laughs> I just want to put these in my freezer. Now, if you want to put this just straight into your refrigerator to use, 
Um, wait till it cools um, when this is all done cooling. And it'll stay good in your refrigerator six to nine months, you guys. It's pretty great. I don't think I'm going to get four pints. It cooked down a lot. I bet I'm only going to get the three out of this batch. So in this plastic container, I'm going to put the rest of the jam because it's not going to fill another jar. All right, so that will cool and that will go in our refrigerator. Now I'm going to take these jars that we flipped over and flip them back over. They're super hot. Okay, and they could seal on their own and you could hear a pop, but if not, you're fine. Just stick them in your freezer when they cool off completely. So, and now we're just gonna wait. Oh, but look how gorgeous the color is, you guys. That's beautiful. Very beautiful. All right, I'm going to clean out my pot and start another batch. So this one has cooled off, and I just want to show you how thick it got. That you don't even need pectin. Just the longer it cooks, the thicker it'll get. So now I washed some strawberries, some blackberries, and blueberries. They're all in there. You need about nine quarts of berries and six cups sugar. The recipe says nine cups of crushed berries not nine cups then crush so i think <laughs> i think i'm going to crush these up in a big bowl that i have and see how many cups we get because that really does determine your sugar so i think i'll do that all right with my crusher i'm just going to break these down and see what we get i did put i'm not sure how many strawberries i have in there like cup wise but I do have three cups of the blackberries and three cups of the blueberries all right Boston asked if I could please smooth out the all berry one and I was like all right he doesn't really like chunks in like the strawberry jam he doesn't mind too much but for this all berry jam he said could you please make it smooth so I'm gonna make it as smooth as I can I mean, it's still going to be a little lumpy because of the skins, but um, that will be okay for him. So I thought, all right. All right. It's about eight cups. So we are going to work with that. All right. I'm going to get this. All right, that is gonna have to do. <laughs> and I'll adjust my sugar, but I'm gonna get this in the pot with my sugar. Which one are you doing? Now we're gonna add our sugar. And here's four cups and I'm gonna add another two. There's that. So we're going to dissolve the sugar and, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna cook it down because it, it um, gelled up really well with the, just the strawberries and they're gonna do awesome this way too. So I've got lots of clumps of the sugar in there that I'm working through, make sure it gets all dissolved. Same process, you're gonna bring it to a boil. You're gonna get it uh, nice and hot. It's gonna take a while. We're just gonna keep stirring, cooking it down and then We'll do the cold plate test again with this one. So we'll do the same process. And I have my glove to wear because this gets hot. I need like a really, 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 really long spoon. <laughs> um, and I had some of the strawberry jam splatter on my finger so it got really hot. All right, so this, all the sugar is dissolved. We're gonna get this to get really hot and bubbly so grab your stool and really baby this again and watch but this is gonna taste so good it's growing huh I don't know why it does it it just does when it starts to boil I think it gets, it gets super frothy and it builds up so I'm lowering my heat some and then I'm just gonna carefully stir it I have a glove on you guys got to be very careful if this gets really hot and once it gets going and starts 
um, going back down, this will reach in the 200s. Usually um, I will pull out my candy thermometer, but I can't find it today. And usually this could get up to 220 degrees, so please be careful. I haven't been timing it, sorry guys. I haven't been focusing on the clock. Okay, I've just been uh, concentrating on this. But you can see how it went back down after it like grew high. And now it's just gonna thicken and keep reducing. So it's a process, but it's so worth it. See that dark, rich color? Oh my gosh, it's gotten darker. And it'll get a little more darker too before we can it. So pretty. So, so pretty. So we're going to freeze this too. All of these batches are the freezer jams. All right. I think it's pretty, I don't know. It seems thick. This one thickens up quicker than the strawberry because you've got the blackberries in there with their awesome little pectin, natural pectin going on doesn't pull back in too quickly. Look how much this is reduced down, you guys. A lot. All right, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this go for another two minutes and um, we'll start ladling it into the jars. Not bad, not bad of a test right there. That's what you're looking for. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna ladle them in the jars and then we'll put them upside down again for five minutes and then flip them over and they'll seal. The other one sealed beautifully, so. And you're like, oh, but it looks so liquidy. It gels up very fast, you guys. And I found this funnel in the canning section at Walmart if you're looking for a funnel. Same thing with wiping down the top. Upside down on the mat. Next one. This smells so good. And it tastes good too. The kids will use this one more in their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But they, they go in waves. They do like strawberry jelly. I'll for sure get four pints out of this. It's hard not to make a mess when you do this. So just expect a mess. See that's upside down. So they'll stay upside down for five minutes and we'll turn them over. Okay, last one. So now these are gonna be upside down for five minutes. I'll flip them over and they'll start popping and sealing. Here's the leftover that was in the pot. That's settling up. So now we're going to, these are gonna be hot still. Turn these over. Okay, those are all turned over now. They'll seal, and we're gonna leave them there and not touch them. It's good to not touch them for like a day. I don't touch them for a day. Um, or if I start in the morning, then I could put them away at night, but I really don't touch them for a long time. So um, I am gonna go find my permanent marker and label these back ones strawberry and these mixed berry here. So, But I'm just gonna leave them here and let them do its thing and seal. And we have berry jam, you guys. Well, you gotta have homemade bread with jam, right? Look how gorgeous this color and the strawberry jam looks. It's so pretty. So I hope you guys attempt to make jam. If you make strawberry jam or mixed berry jam, what tips do you have for us? I would love to know. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed this. And we'll see you soon. Bye.